I'm Ben Peterson from Four Cubs Farm. Uh, our farm has been in our family since 1877. It was homesteaded by my grandparent or great 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 grandparents, um, and has been milking cows ever since. We've gone from uh, 40 cows back in 1980s when I was uh, first getting involved to milking about a thousand right now with uh, 16 later robots. The primary reason we uh, decided to explore the punished soybean option was. Um, as trucking costs have gone up, it's getting hard, it's getting more and more expensive to haul feeds into the uh, dairy. We are now able to offset some of our protein, and we have uh, eliminated a bunch of protected fat that was uh, sourced basically from palm fats uh, overseas. We are always trying to look forward to see what's coming. We might not be the first ones to adapt to things, but we try to be early on into the into the new technology. It's it's fit a good fit for us as we've got a, quite a few crop acres and are able to rotate around. It's a great rotation, great for the corn to go into beans and vice versa. We started off pretty simple. We used bags to, care, to hold the beans the first year and then had a mobile roaster come in. We're now to a point where we put a 30,000 bushel bin in for beans. We have a deep swelts roaster and are doing everything on farm now. Uh, basically, almost every day of the week, the roaster is running to create the bean meal for the cows. Hi, I'm Nathan Brandt, the dairy herd manager up here at Four Cubs Farm in Grantsburg, Wisconsin. Uh, we're milking today 975 cows, um, averaging 93 pounds with a 445 butter fat and a 345 protein. Um, we have really progressed our uh, production in the right direction over the 10 years that I've been here. Uh, today we're getting the most energy corrected milk that I've seen, uh, shipping uh, right, right around 106 energy corrected uh, pounds going down the driveway. Uh, and we keep focusing on raising high quality feeds and trying to get as much um, quality feed into, the, into our cows as possible. So we started out uh, doing a little trial with the uh, Plunish soybeans in 2023. Um, we saw a uh, immediate uh, bump in components when we when we put those in and, and we also saw our fresh cows really take off phenomenally well, uh, better than I've seen in, since I've been here. And uh, the other really, really impressive thing that I've seen as of late uh, is our conception rates and Repro has really swung um, to some really elite levels on conception, and uh, uh, it's phenomenal to see what's going on there, and excited to see where that's gonna lead us in the future here. So those elite numbers that I was talking about on the repro side of things, um, typically we, we average a 48% conception here at Four Cubs. Uh, in the last month, since we've really dialed up uh, the plunish soybeans in the diets, um, we're seeing a 64% conception um, over the last month and that's really exciting to see. I, I do think that uh, the way we balance the diet, putting more uh, more energy, more calories and, and a, a more dense uh, product at the bunk for the cows, we're seeing the cows carry condition better in the fresh pen um, and, and the peaks are, are sh they're showing that. So uh, really excited to see where this leads us. Hi, I'm Dakota Schultz here at uh... Four Cubs Farm in Grantsburg, Wisconsin. I am the on-site agronomist here, and I do all the planting, spraying, um, crop scouting, uh, anything related with crops, that's what I do here. Um, we run about 300 acres of soybeans, 1,600 acres of corn, um, 220 acres of Italian ryegrass, and 350 acres of alfalfa. Uh, we grow um, 300 acres of the plenish soybeans and to get what we want on our farm we actually have a neighboring farmer who is planting another 300 acres for us to um, reach our needs for feed for our dairy. Okay. Our, we have planted the 1.9 and the 2.1 maturity rate um, plenish soybean and that's not common for up here in northwest Wisconsin. Um, it's typically a 1.0 to 1.5. Um, we, to get them in early, or it's important to get them in early, um, we keep good soil conditions um, and 
We will desiccate if need, need be, but we have not yet had to do that. Here in Northwest Wisconsin, 1.0 to 1.5 soybeans are a good maturity for us. However, with the plenish, 1.9 to 2 ones, the four cubs have done a really good job with uh, being prepared to desiccate. Um, at, at the R stages, when we get to 6.5 or so, then we'll bring in our Pioneer Agronomist team to um, really help us stage that in the instance that we would need to desiccate. And um, we have not had to desiccate yet, but we're prepared to if need be. Our Pioneer Agency has been working with the Petersons at Four Cubs for five years. Um, they're a great team of people to do business with. We have been gaining support from them and they're planting more Pioneer on every acre they can. Um, now with this Plenish, uh, we are 100% Plenish Pioneer beans with them and we assisted in finding an, a second grower to be growing beans that will go through the cows at Four Cubs. It's been exciting to be part of the Four Cubs operation and bringing Plenish to them. They've gone from zero acres to 300, now up to 600 acres. And they've done that because of the production responses and the reproduction efficiency of the herd. And they've given a lot of credit to the oleic oil content, which is so consistent in plenty soybeans. So it's been part to see some of the additional investment they've made in a feed center, bins, a roaster, and they're just looking forward to the future of being able to do more and more plenty soybeans, either on their own acres or with neighbors acres to make it work for them. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.